2011. I'm headed to work right now. Uh, who did give them the right to put away our family tree? That's what I want to talk a little bit on right now is our family tree. We hear a lot about people chasing, uh, chasing their family trees back and doing a lot of hunting and searching and uh, looking everywhere to figure out who they're kin to or who was the great 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 grandmother and different things like that but my question is did God give us a family tree as in a tree for the human race to bring us together to uh, maybe hold us together so we don't fall apart maybe um, that's, that's just my question did God give us as a human family, as spirits that live in the flesh, which we are, did he give us a tree that has been taken away due to the jealousy of a few people who don't want life to continue on this earth because they work for the dark powers? Well, my answer is yes, God did give us a family tree. If you go back to the beginning in the scriptures, you know, we had the tree of life. And that's also talked about in the last chapter of the Bible, Revelation 22. But it's talked about all the way throughout the whole Bible, the tree of life. But what, what, did, what did we do? I mean, do we have the tree of life still here on this earth? Some would say, no, it's figurative. It's, it's, you know, it's not a real thing. They just use that as symbolism and stuff. And me personally, I don't buy that. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of symbolism and figurative things, but there is an actual tree of life or, or the scriptures are, are not really saying what they're saying, but I'm testifying that the scriptures do say what they say, they do mean what they say, they mean what they mean, they are what they are, and it's where the power is at. So yeah, there's a tree of life, but what happened? I mean, well, Adam and Eve chose, I mean, I, to go along what they chose, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, that the tree of life wasn't sufficient for them. It wasn't, they just, they were tempted to, uh, taking that other bait, you know, the stuff that don't hurt you. Ah, uh, this won't hurt. Ah, uh, a little bit won't hurt you. You know, they were pure pressure and they bought into it, you know. They were told not to eat something and given the greatest gift, which was the tree of life, so they could eat eat off of that forever and and live live at peace, live at harmony with the earth, which they were doing until they went against what they were supposed to do, which by choosing to eat off the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And then their eyes were open and then they realized. Well anyways, that's where the plan of redemption it, it was beginning. It was, you know, God had a plan to, to he, he, he put two cherubims a fire, two angels, or the way I read it, you know, garden the way of the tree of life so only some only few people have access to it and you can also read that in revelation i believe chapter three can't remember exactly where it might be chapter two when jesus is talking to the churches and now he says i'll give some if you do these things access to the tree of life i'll give some if you do these things access to the hidden manna you know different things like that different things that's going to help us get through the tribulation well, if the tree of life isn't real, then what's Jesus giving us access to? Well, he's giving us access to life. I understand he gave his life so we could have life. But it says he would give us access to the tree of life. You know, that vine, the vine that he said he was. And so it would help us, the tree of life, through these times. And not only that, but in the rebuilding phase of what we're going to be doing here on this earth as the second coming is amongst us. The kingdom of God is here with men. It is inside of us. It's within us. But, yes, the tree of life, you know, it's for the healing 
of the nations, according to Revelation 22, verse 2. You also got plenty of scripture that backs up that the people, the children of Israel, the people of God, his children would turn their back on his way. They would quit living, you know, in the way just like how Adam and Eve did, you know. They, they quit living the way that we were intended to live. Well, there was a revolution about 2,000 years ago like no other, and it's still, it's still going. My camera fell. It's still going, but it's not in its full fruition. It's, it's, it's coming back. It's, it's the second coming is where the power is really at. And this is where the warriors have to stand up and spread the truth. Is there a tree of life? Yes, there's a tree of life. Do we have access to it? Well, yeah, actually we do. It, 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 you have to have plenty of faith and be bold, you know, to have access to it, or where I'm living at, you do. And but that's that's what all the warriors of the Bible they had to have tons of faith and be bold and move, move, knowing that God was going to open up the Red Sea, open up path, passageways to go through, give us that escape when we needed it. You know, that's what it's all about. The way of the tree of life, that's why there's two cherubims there. In order to get to it, they gotta let you by. And it's it's that's where that straight and narrow Jesus talked about really, really, really comes alive. If you're on that straight and narrow, them angels, them cherubims, they will allow you access to it. They allow you access through the blood of Jesus and what he did. But they will allow you access. We got epidemics going on in this world due to our way of living and not obeying God so we can have access to the tree of life. There's a lot of knowledge that has to be gained and it's got to be gained in a very, very short period of time. And that's what we're working on right now. And I say we, you know, that's anybody who wants to stand for the truth. It's not like, you know, I got people sitting behind me everywhere. I'm riding in a car going to work. But it's it's anybody who wants to stand for the truth. And anybody who wants to stand for the truth will stand against injustice and they will stand for justice to be served to every human being here on this earth. Now is that work and gonna be hard to do? Most definitely. I mean it's it's uh it's it's the process we're in right now, but <laughs> it's it's like birthing a baby. It's the way the scripture words it. It's it's like having a baby. We're pushing and 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 we're gonna get it through. And it's gonna be amazing once it comes through. There will be a relief. There there will be relief. And I spell that R-E-L-E-A-F. Relief. I'm at work. Just a short little video. Who gave them the right to steal our family tree or however the lyrics say. I don't even know what the lyrics say on Michael Jackson Ghost, but um, only the devil did, but really it's due to our uh, due to our lack of obeying. So it's really our choice, the reason why they took our family tree, but we're gonna get it back. The warriors are back, we're gonna do this. Thank you, peace, love. I appreciate the comments as always, anything, any ideas, any, I'm just, like, like I always say, I'm planting them seeds, you know, so thank you. Have a beautiful day.